The nervous system can be divided into two parts, central and peripheral. The nerves within the system communicate with each other to control the body. Each nerve has multiple layers of connective tissue to provide structural support, to help protect it from injury, and to conduct electrical signals across tissues. So nerves, I explain, is, a, is like an elastic cord in the body that moves with our daily activities, but at times can develop issues of sensitivity where if it's moved or forces applied to it, then it can become quite painful in some patients, not all, but some. And if you imagine the system is a cord that lives inside a flexible telescope, it's attached at each end. So you elongate the telescope and the nerve gets tighter. You bend the telescope and it gets compressed on the bend. You can twist it and so forth. We know that nerves can elongate, we know they can slide, and we know they develop pathophysiological problems. You could have a tension dysfunction, a sliding dysfunction, or a pathophysiology, depending on how the patient presents and what balance of mechanisms occur. Nerves can become irritated or sensitive when they cannot keep up with the demands placed on the body. Nerves can also become damaged from excess chemical irritation, such as inflammation, or from mechanical forces, such as trauma. A damaged nerve is one where the axons are damaged and they don't function. So if you shoot an impulse through that area of damage, it doesn't pass through the area. So they use things like electrophysiology uh, uh, to determine the existence of a neuropathy on the basis that it produces a failure of conduction. But a sensitive nerve is one that's hyperactive and has a lower threshold to a mechanical force and produces more activity than normal. A sensitive nerve can be evaluated through neurodynamic tests. These movements can also be used as a treatment technique to help desensitize nerves. So a neurodynamic test assesses mechanical function and physiological responses to physical force, and you can have an abnormal neurodynamic test in the presence of no abnormality in conduction. But what it shows is that the nerve might be hypersensitive and lack movement, but it being normal in conduction means it may not be a neuropathy. It could be a dysfunction, but not a pathology. So what we do as physiotherapists is look at, is look at what we call function and dysfunction. When someone, for instance, contracts a muscle, for instance at the elbow, we know that pronator teres presses on the median nerve. And so if that's excessive, then we'll, we'll evaluate that in terms of muscle contraction. If, if it's a mechanical irritation, for instance, we know the nerve can develop inflammatory changes. So you get that sort of divergence between mechanical problems like muscle pressure, postural changes in the thoracic outlet, for instance, disc protrusions can change the mechanical function and physiology of nerve and so forth. So what we do clinically is direct treatment at changing force on those nerves to respond. 